not sure, so don't hold me to it. And um, I'm going to give you guys my honest opinion of the game this far. I got it at midnight last night. I, uh, I was one of the first, like, ten people to pick up the game at my location, and everybody was freaking out when they saw the hardened edition. And um, so I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a rundown on my opinions so far. So personally, not a fan. I'm not liking it. Um, there's a lot of lag issues, there's a lot of insta-death issues, the magic bullet is ridiculous. I'm hoping this is stuff they're going to fix in the first f couple weeks, just from servers being overloaded right now with all the people surging on. However, I don't know. Uh, it, it seems a lot like Modern Warfare 3.5. So if you weren't a fan of Modern Warfare 3, it, it's probably not going to be a huge thing for you. And I know that my opinions can change, because there's a lot of time left. Um, they could fix things. But we'll see how that goes, and, um, I mean, Search and Destroy isn't in the game, which I knew that when I picked it up. It's Search and Rescue, which is kind of chill, because you can get revived, but it's also really kind of cheesy. This is actually a Search and Rescue game, not a Search and Destroy, sorry. And, uh, but it's kind of cheesy, because, like, if you get re if somebody gets revived when you happen to be walking through spawn, they can just pop up right behind you, and then you get shafted for no reason. Um, but like I said, there's also, the lag issues are kind of ridiculous. Um, like, I'll, in my... On my screen, I will be inches away from somebody knifing them, and then I'll watch the replay, and I'm like a good six, seven feet away, and they've shot me and are dead before I've even made a move. So, we'll see. Um, however, this game is the first game that I played that I did relatively well in, and I'm only level seven. Leveling up is taking a while. Um, also, the unlocks are taking a long-ass time, because you need unlock points to unlock anything, and it's not like in, in the, the Black Ops series where you get money, and you can buy things, and you get money relatively quickly, like earning like $1,000 a match. Like, I'm, if I'm playing a good game, I'll get like two or three unlock points, and that's enough to buy me like half of something. So you gotta play a few games before you can unlock stuff, especially if you're not doing well. Like, I'm definitely not doing well right now. My KD has gotta be god-awful. And, um, but I know a lot of that's because I only knife. And... So, take my opinions with a grain of salt, obviously. If you guys are, are, are enjoy sniping, you're probably going to love this game. Because Infinity Ward, as everybody knows, has like a huge boner for snipers. Um, I haven't gotten the, the Juggernaut knife suit yet, but I'm looking forward to that. And I was, I'm running the, the support killstreak package so your streaks continue after your death. And also, I would like to say something to you guys. Uh, for those of you that play Search and Rescue, please, 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 if you see blue tags, p go pick them up and revive your teammates. There's nothing more frustrating than watching somebody on your team just sit there and look at your tag, and that's 10 feet away, and they're not moving to go at it, and they know you know that if you if you go, if they just walked over and touched it, you'd be right back in the game. Um, so, that's my little rant on that. However, the aspects that I do like, um, I've got, there's the... They've got the, what do you call it, uh, the tack knife, and you don't have to shoot or complete any challenges to unlock it, which is pretty cool. Um, there's a combat knife made a return. The throwing knife is really accurate. It's not like the Modern Warfare 3 one that like bounced around and made 12,000 noises after you threw it. And other than that, yeah, so I'm going to go back and keep playing the game. I'm going to try and get some more gameplays for you guys. And uh, this has been YouTube Knifing. For those of you that are seeing this video for the first time, if you enjoy my video and you like my channel, please click subscribe for more Call of Duty Ghost Knife Only content, uh, among other things. I play GTA and all other stuff. So drop a like, a comment, and a subscribe. Hopefully we can get 10 likes on this video. That would chill, be chill. And uh, this has been YouTube Knifing. Peace out, guys.